Well, I've had many people say to me, hey, what do you think about Nick's apology? And I said, Nick's apology? What the hell is he apologizing about? And I read the tweet and I was like, okay, well, this needs to be talked about because I will share my thoughts on all this. There, there's not a ton of leaks and news to talk about today. But we're probably not going to discuss too much revolving that stuff today. It's going to once again be mostly talking about the drama going on right now. And thank you for the support. I mean, yesterday, I think was one of the most liked videos in the channel's history. And I think it has the most comments on it also in channel history. History, so that's insane but uh yeah we're just kind of gonna cover this right now and to me i don't know there's, there's a lot of layers to this that we need to talk about it's getting em embarrassing to be honest with you if you guys would like to buy coins you can go to mmoxp.com the link is in the description you can use my code jfc at checkout for a five percent discount from multiple perspectives and let's just let's just begin bear with me we're gonna read through all of it and take pauses maybe to talk about some things between it it's not a huge tweet but we'll just get through it here L let's begin yo apologies to so many people that i have upset viewers and other streamers slash creators i try to step up to the plate and unite the community and failed miserably i've woken up to so many dms about how upset and annoyed people are at the situation i thought presenting an opportunity for everyone to stop playing collectively could really make some damage in resolving some of our continuous and worsening issues i was trying to give people a door to walk through i think he means to walk through in hopes of some change on the other side didn't mean for anyone to receive the hatred that they are receiving. I'm definitely disappointed overall though. Felt like others weren't really up for any of this. Had a super false read on the temperature of action we collectively feel towards EA. I've spent a lot of time reading messages, posts, and reactions about what I've said where people felt something like this couldn't work in the slightest. At the end of the day, for us to get any change out of EA, it was going to take all of us. So sorry to anyone that received pushback or hate from a situation in which I was genuinely just trying to help. Zero other motives. If you don't believe so, then I'm sorry for that. Not sure where to go from here but figured it was worth the try to see where everyone was at i don't even know i don't even know what to, i don't know uh i guess where 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 should i i guess let's we'll start at uh what the fuck are we doing right now just take a step back what the hell are we doing right now i just lost so much faith in really i don't know a lot of different things right now if even the idea of having some sort of a, a few day period, you know, not even have to be like an extended period, like a month, even a few day period where nobody played the game. If even the idea of that got to the point where Nick had to apologize to people, we are in fuck, we are in deep shit. It's it's a lot worse than I thought, boys. It is a lot worse than I thought. I'm not trying to say Nick is the saint on all this and everybody else is terrible. I'm not trying to say that at all here. Because many creators as well were also on like the side of him and, you know, in my kind of feelings about things, obviously. But the FIFA community is not ready to do this, guys. They are not ready to genuinely do anything about this. Clearly, most people, I'm not even saying, this goes with like creators and goes with just playing the game i'm not trying to sit on a high horse here or people who agree with me or whatever but we've i've learned a lot <laughs> in just the last 48 hours from like people's mindsets on where they're at right now and there's just a fundamental disconnect here one side of the coin here is basically just trying to do their job right literally their job on youtube i think there's people who are genuinely passionate about FIFA or EAFC and want to see the best for it. And people who also more align with this side too are people who, you know, see the predatory nature of this and are like, Jesus Christ, they're making gambling addicts that are 13, 14 years old. You know, I think they see that and and see that that's an issue and they end up on the side where it's like, we need to do something about this. But there are so many people out there that just don't give a fuck. And obviously that most of them probably do care in certain ways and in certain aspects of the game. But in general, they are fine with this. Um, and I'm kind of stunned by that to be honest with you I, I am pretty stunned where the game is going the way the game is directed now the way the, the who the game is directed at uh as well i mean there's so many aspects of the game that it feels like are going in a bad direction um but it's like do you care enough to try and make a difference here so i think that it's just a fundamental difference between people who are really passionate who want to see fifa be better and not see the predatory nature of 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 this game in general you know who are like gamers kind of to the core who really love this game and people who are just just like here for the entertainment or here for the money right and i'm not you know i'm not throwing accusations out there to anybody literally i've got Bateson's tweet up here we're gonna read it in one second i'm not talking about him just to me the way this has gone there is no way in hell if you are passionate as fuck about fifa or eafc or whatever that 
this is somehow the response we end up getting it is it's it really is crazy to me basin's tweet though if we were calling him out aj3 out saying like you are an ea shill you will do this you'll do that basin basically saying uh anything i say or do i'll never win people jump on me any opportunity did i get red and bop and belly or emery nope but somehow i'm the worst i mean basin no one's saying that bro you know no one's saying that you're just like jumping on us immediately to try and play victim it seems like but don't throw shade at these people like don't fucking go tweet at baits and telling him to fuck like don't like you guys know better than that i don't send abuse creators way obviously but you just need to be aware that it sure as hell seems like people are really content with what's going on right now and that stuns me it personally really really it shocks me a lot of these people are let's read fuji's tweet here people who don't enjoy the game need to stop playing but you'd be surprised at how many do like it you have good intentions but less talking and more action is required you're a big influence on the community so if you really don't enjoy playing you should take a stand now and this is kind of the weird this is the weird thing to me once again to be realistic about this one person taking a, a a hero's stand in the grand scheme of things is nick quitting going to actually stop anything from happening no his point was that if we all do it together we might actually do something so i'm not gonna quit myself because there's no fucking point in doing that it makes sense I, i'm not sure it, it makes sense to me but but fuji's saying like if you believe in these principles then you should do this it's important to have realistic solutions or realistic options for solutions that we could possibly come up with together and not just be like hey quit the game then idiot let's keep reading reading through here will you do the same pal fuji says i don't hate the game enough to stop playing and that's the truth packs are still fun even though rigged odds gameplay's fine my connection's perfect um and i don't agree with that but at least you can understand why when someone says like hey i think the game is like fun and that's okay um but just just you guys need to be aware that when some of these creators are saying like the game is pretty fun for me also they this is their job as well so they're probably they can't help but be blinded by that a little bit it's like this is how i make my money and i play a video game this is like a hobby for y'all and for a lot of y'all it's a hobby that you are passionate about this isn't like a, a throwing shade at anybody this is to me just you are seeing people's like not true colors that's not really the right way to say it but people's level of actually wanting to make a difference and seeing the level of predatory we are getting here in this current state of eafc fifa whatever you're seeing how much that actually upsets certain people and how much it doesn't is kind of my point you're seeing what creators are more upset about it and more just like oh this doesn't seem right but i don't care like i know i'm being very uh cynical when i say that but let's be honest for a sec here if Nick even mentioned possibly doing a little bit of a boycott, perhaps, for a, for some time. What if we stop playing the game, right? Wouldn't that maybe do something? Actually, no, you're a fucking idiot. And some people are saying, you know, well, let's just do this instead. Let's just maybe let's stop buying FIFA points. And then, no, instead, all of a sudden, we have bickering back and forth of, like, I'm not going to quit my job, you fucking idiot. Like, go, go get, go look somewhere else. I don't know what, I, I just, I'm so confused <laughs> about what's going on here. I, I, I guess we are just noticing people are not as upset with the way things are going as some other people are and that's the fundamental disconnect right now between a lot of the community it's really just some and then most like it's a majority are feeling the same way i don't know if any of this even made sense at all i could just be absolutely yapping but hopefully most of you guys have been able to follow what, what i'm trying to say or like what it seems like is happening here and also can we just dive into the next part here where it is absolutely hilarious to me the conversation which by the way ea made a mistake last night uh 6 p.m content a certain pick came out at uh 12 a.m actually 12 p.m my time is content time 12 hours before content so whatever content time is for you 12 hours before that ea accidentally released an icon pick so they tweeted that out but the conversation now <laughs> is no longer with oh my god they just fucked up red mbappe again messy 2.0 glitch now it's which creators are calling each other out right now i mean isn't this just isn't this just great for us we're a bunch of fucking buffoons bro we, we're like gorillas we can't we somehow can't organize some sort of anything as a collective <laughs> to do anything and now we're just fighting amongst ourselves and the people uh, in the ivory tower are just sitting there like this is nice <laughs> people are gonna forget about this really soon because now the drama's on something else and here we are i'm disappointed i'm just disappointed that the temperature like nick said was not really where i thought it was with most creators out there i even said yesterday i don't think a creator boycott would really work that well but the fact that we can't even get something organized at all without bickering back and forth and like having to private dm each other's we can't say, like i mean it's just I, I, this is insane to me and also by the way fun account massive w here in share plays he joins if someone has fifa points he just leaves the share play <laughs> doesn't even let him open the pack of the share play that is an absolute massive w so fun accountant who i know has been you know like an ea partnered person before that's something awesome to see the way we can actually 
actually do something about this, guys. To me, Spreadsheet Joss said this pretty perfectly. This is what will hurt them. Demonize the use of FC points. 5% of the player base stopping for two weeks will do absolutely nothing. Is what I said before. A creator boycott can be bad PR, but long term it doesn't really do much right but what would do is if everybody demonized the use of fc points that would actually cause something long term if nobody bought them from now on for like next year despite how enticing it might be if like that's an much easier thing to do too because people are just gonna quit the game overnight people aren't gonna do that people are addicted to the game creators are not gonna stop with their jobs a really easy thing to do is be like hey no more fifa points stop buying them this game does not deserve them but the fact that people can't even get to that point fun accountants there right now which i love that for him i said uh, that was one of the games things i've ever said in my life i love that for you nate because this this is right you know he's been a creator in the past but he's seeing now hey actually this game does not deserve your money right now so don't spend money on the game that's a, that's a just fine way for me to attack this but to play the game and even if you like the game and you're having fun on it to me is there any justification for people that we can basically gamble right now underage on this game right that i don't think anybody thinks should be a thing so can we at least can we at least start demonizing the use of fc points that would be fantastic to me that would that would be an actual way for us to substantially do something that's realistic in my opinion hashtag no more fc points uh and and spread that until uh, the, uh, the the cows come home. Whatever saying you want to say, uh, that's that's all I got for you. Also, follow me on Twitter for the worst tweets you will see uh, probably in your entire life. How the fuck are they making mistakes at 3 a.m., guys? 3 a.m. and they're making mistakes. It's 3 a.m. and they're making mistakes. How is this? F how? How? Especially with the PR nightmare they're in already. They're still making mistakes at 3 a.m. February 1st, 2024. After the messy situation, read this blurb down here. We know this is not a perfect solution. We will continue examining our processes with the aim of minimizing such issues in the future he thinks we can't see him and by the way there was a glitch today uh where evos became 99 rated and it ended up being just a visual glitch apparently like people went into the game and it was okay and then people actually backed out of the game and then logged back in and then they were back to normal ratings so there's this is probably just a visual glitch but once again another bug going around right now so for evos 99 i don't think it's actually 99 in the gameplay i think it just is a visual glitch if you back out and log back in it should be okay but i I don't i mean don't ask me what is going on i mean there there's another wait wait <laughs> i just see bates is trending why the hell is bates in trending oh i see okay so he tweeted out like dude i, I listen th no one deserves this okay no one deserves have their mentions flooded with you big chunky coward fuck you like that is that's volatile like that's that's vile no one deserves to have this at the same time if you're gonna tweet out this and you know not really comment on what's going on because we know you're a, a, an ea partner then like it just feels like you're begging for people to say oh my god i'm so sorry to you you know and I'm not gonna lie, it comes with the territory a little bit. If you're online and a content creator and this is your job and you have made a lot of money from this, I'm not saying it's right at all. It should not. I mean, it's, it's like a pro athlete. They have to deal with a similar thing, right? No one deserves this. Nobody deserves it, but it's something you have to just deal with. I mean, tweet this kind of stuff out. I'm not surprised that people are not ha like not feeling sympathy for you. Like the replies are not sympathetic. He's not saying anything about this and just saying I don't engage in conversation because I'm getting abused, which is not good. But it just feels like you're looking for people to be to be sorry for you. So, hey guys, there is still a FIFA game like going on right now, like FIFA there's a title that's out it's called eafc 24 and there's an SBC coming out and it's alexander lacazette that will come out uh i don't know i think it's sometime this week it probably is going to be today if i had to guess but that's really all the content i'm going to talk about leaks and news wise because i haven't seen lacazette yet but i don't know there's uh a lot to discuss at the moment and let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments the, the support's been crazy so thank you so i read the comments my second channel again i thought i was going to do it uh, last night but there was so much going on last night and the comment section was filled with the same thing i was like okay i'm gonna just like let let this sit for a night and then tomorrow answer a lot of uh your guys's questions so any comment you have get your last ones in we'll talk about it all of you all things about resume peace